Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Simply Gigi here. Today I'm doing the get to know me tag, so I have all the questions already set up here. And let's go. Okay, so first question, where did you grow up? So, woo, let's let's get ready. Because um, I've moved a lot. My family's moved a lot. So I was born in Nairobi, Kenya, which is in Africa. So I lived there for the first five years of my life. Um, and then I moved to Canada with my family. And we lived in Toronto. Um, we've lived in Mississauga. We've lived in Brampton. So those are like the formative years from like when I was born all the way to high school, end of high school. So um, where did I grow up? All four places. So like Nairobi, um, uh, Toronto, Brampton, and Mississauga. So those are all the places I grew up. So yeah, a lot of different schools, a lot of different people made me who I am today. Okay, how tall are you? So, um, you know what's only recently I knew it in feet. I only knew it in centimeters because I one time I traveled and they needed centimeters. But I'm 169 centimeters, which is 5'6". Um, dogs or cats? I'm 100% a dog, pers dog person. Um, I find cats don't like me. Like, I would be a cat person if they liked me back. I like a mutual understanding, but cats hate me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm too much in their space because I love dogs because they just come up and they cuddle with you. So I'm 100% a dog person. What year were you born? I'm a 96 baby, so I'm 23. I'm turning 24 this year. Um, what? You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? So because I'm home, my perfume is au naturel right now, um, so I'm not wearing perfume, but on a regular day, let me actually wrap, I love it, it's this cute little, cute little uh, shoe over here, but this is my go-to everyday scent, Carolina Herrera, this is literally like my personality in a bottle, which I absolutely love, um, and then when I'm going out and living my best life, um, I hit it with the YSL. This is the YSL Montpari. So those are my two scents. It's either Carolina or YSL Montpari. So those are the two scents that I go to. Okay. Tea or coffee? Oh, you're gonna make me feel like I'm cheating here. So I want to say tea because I'm Kenyan and we're all about chai. Um, we're British colony, so we drink a lot of tea. But right now, I have to admit, I drink the most amount of coffee. I bought a Keurig and I've been making coffee so much. I feel like that's why I'm like half hyper, half dead all the time because they just taste so good. They have like this hazelnut flavor and I don't know which brand is it, but I popped that in my Keurig and it smells delicious first of all and it tastes delicious so I feel like right now I'm gonna be honest and say I'm a coffee girl uh, what sports do you play or have you played really go and go there okay let's talk about it let's talk about these sports so currently I don't play sports me and sports we're not friends um, um, I like Big ups to all the girls who play sports because I want to play sports but I have this thing that I really like to be like good at things and I'm not good at sports so that's why I'm like I don't want to play. I'm really competitive though um, so I will like if I have to play a sport I'm gonna give it my all but I'm usually not the greatest and I'd be talking smack like I'm some next top baller but I'm really not. But when I was younger um, my brother was really good at track, so we kind of felt, okay, he's good at track, we're Kenyan, long distance runners, it's, it's going to go well. And I did make it to the track team, but I was so bad. I think I came in like second last or last place, like it was, it was a problem. So I did track. Um, in grade 9, I was captain of the cricket team. 
Um, and the only reason I was captain is I feel like because I was Kenyan and like cricket's known for like India India is like number one for cricket and then Kenya we like like cricket too so they're like okay you be the cricket captain I was like yeah I got this um, and I felt like I was good at that time because not everyone else had enough time to like learn properly the game but I was really not that good and then last but not least I did volleyball now volleyball was a lot of fun um, so I played that when I was in, I think, elementary school. I don't think I played in high school, but that was a lot of fun. So those are the sports I have played. If you challenge me to a game, I will do it. Um, even if I'm the worst at it, just because I'm so competitive. But me and sports, we're not, we're not friends. <laughs> um, let's see. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I can say this right off the bat. Like, first off. Jackie, I know. I feel like that's for all of us. She when she gets Jackie, 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 Jackie. Like as soon as I hear that song, I'm already like, oh, okay, this is gonna be a lit video. So Jackie, I is my number one. Um, B girl Tara and B girl Eddie. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but like they're B girls from UK and they're phenomenal. And I love watching their um, videos and kind of feeling like. Oh, that could be me. You know when you like watch somebody killing it and you're like, oh my gosh, and you envision yourself in that space? I just really like it because they're so empowering to women, especially in like the b-boy, b-girl community because they're so young, but they're so good. So that's my second one because I do watch, like I binge watch their videos a lot. It's so good. I even go back and rewatch some of them because they're that good. Um, Third, I would say Patricia Bright and not so much her like, uh, like I still like her regular platform, but her the break platform for like where you get to learn. I just I just find it so interesting. I'm not at the level to be purchasing property yet, but it's just interesting to hear financial matters because I feel like I didn't learn a lot of that. Um, so the break platform and also Patricia Bright because she just has like a quirky personality that I really like. Now I'd say those are my top three, but my top one for sure is Jackie Ina, definitely. Do you speak any languages and how well? Whew. This is another tiny little story, not really story. So English is my first language. Um, so I would say it's it's doing well, um, unless you put me in public speaking and then we're gonna have issues. <laughs> but um, English I'd say pretty well. French, I took French from grade five all the way to grade 12 in extended French. So, um, and it was also my French minor. I, I did a French minor in university. So my French is decent. Speaking, I would say not that great because I live in Ontario and I find in Ontario um, a lot of people are learning French but we're not necessarily speaking it. So don't come at us because our speaking is not the greatest. Um, and then Luo and Swahili, which should be my native languages. <laughs> but let me tell you what happened. Let's let's talk about how it was taken from me so when we moved to canada they wanted to originally like put us back a grade and my mom was like listen you guys are not going back a grade i'm not having that so you guys are only speaking english in the house if you speak swahili or luo you're gonna have to wash the dishes so we were like we're not trying to wash dishes so we basically just stopped speaking swahili and luo at home our parents speak luo so like um I understand Luo, but if you come at me and you're trying to speak, I know just the bare minimum. I can greet you, say bye, and I can listen. That's all it is to it. Um, Swahili is not that great. I'm trying to relearn. Me and my sister are trying to relearn, um, but I'm not going to lie. My Swahili, it's like I look at the words and I'm like, this is foreign to me. And then Chinese, I know this is going to be super random, but I took two years of Chinese while I was in university as well. And I lived in Taiwan for four months. So back then, my Chinese was like decent enough. But right now, it's really bad. And by Chinese, I mean Mandarin, not Cantonese. Um, I learned Mandarin, and right now, it's really disappeared because I haven't talked in Mando for about two years. Um, and I'm not in like a demographic where there's a lot of Chinese people around me right now. So uh, it's, it's diminishing quite rapidly. Let's see. 
Are you single or taken? Single and living the dream. Listen, I'm living my best life. Don't come for me. Um, how many siblings do you have? So I have one sister and one brother, and they're both older than me. I have my sister's four years older, my brother's six years older, but they're cool. They're cool or whatever. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. So one thing about me that you wouldn't know is I am a dancer. I'm addicted to dance. I feel like I'm going to be dancing till I'm like 95, 80, 100. Like I just love dance. I've been dancing since I was little. Um, when I was younger, I did like ballet, lyrical, jazz, tap, acro. Not that great at acro, but we tried it anyways. Um, character. So I did do a lot of dance when I was younger. And then as I got older, I just kind of fell in love with hip hop and I found it was something that uh, just resonated and just touched my heart. So right now I love just um, hip hop and Afro beats. And I'm still learning. I'm by no means a professional in like those styles, but I just love dancing hip hop and Afro beats. So I dance a lot, almost too much. Um, let's see. What social media are you addicted to? Instagram. I'm not gonna lie about it. I actually don't have Twitter. I feel like I'm one of the few people who don't have Twitter, but I'm addicted to Instagram. Snapchat, not really. TikTok, I'll look at it. I'll post once or twice, but I'm not really like deep, deep, deep. Um, it's only Instagram, I feel, for me. You're going out with your friends. Describe your night. We won't skip that one. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna skip that one. But we have a blast, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. What is your horoscope? So I'm a Libra and my moon is in Taurus. But I'm a Libra, so I'm a Libra baby. And we're done. Thank you guys for watching my video and getting to know me a little bit more. I just realized after I had this like huge hair, just like there, just pretend it wasn't there. Just pretend. I don't want to do the video again because I feel like the answers won't be as authentic. So we're going to keep this one up um, with my messy hair self. But Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure to like, comment, and you better subscribe. Like, what you mean? I've seen the analytics. I know most of y'all ain't subscribed. A lot of y'all, more than 50% of you watching are not subscribed. What you doing? Tell me the truth. Hmm? <laughs> but anyways, it was really nice getting to know you guys. And I have a lot of new videos coming out for you guys.